Good morning. Whew. Today is section six. Um, the date is July 9th, 1841, Nauvoo, Illinois. It is for Brigham Young. And the prominent doctrine or theme is Brigham Young and the care for his family. It's just three verses, this section. So, uh, the Lord just says, you know what, Brigham, you don't have to go on missions anymore. You can stay and take care of your family. I've accepted what you've done. Uh, that is the gist of it. Um, a little background and overview. The Twelve had served missions to the European nations, and thousands of converts had joined the church due to their efforts. After two years with their missions successfully completed, they returned to their families and the church in Nauvoo. One of the twelve, Brigham Young, was addressed in this revelation. The Lord acknowledges Brigham Young's offerings and labors. He is instructed to remain at home and send the gospel abroad as it is no longer required. He is instructed to remain home and send the gospel abroad as it is no longer required for him to travel on missions. He is told he can direct the missionary efforts of the church from his home. That read a little weird to me. But anyways. Um, who is Brigham Young? Mm. Shortly after Brigham Young was baptized on April 14th, 1832, he met with the prophet Joseph and spent the evening talking about the gospel. When it came time for them to part, Joseph invited Brigham to offer a prayer. During that prayer, the Spirit of the Lord came upon Brigham, and he began speaking in tongues. The first time on record that particular gift of the Spirit had been bestowed upon anyone in this dispensation. Of this meeting, Orson Whitney wrote, This was the first meeting of Joseph Smith with the man who was destined to become his successor. It is said that Joseph predicted that Brigham Young would yet preside over the church. I don't know what else to say about any of that. Like I said, it was just three verses. I didn't pick out any of my my things. Um, tomorrow is section 127 verses 1 through 6. So we will see you tomorrow. I love you all.